My name is Timothy, but my friends call me Little Timmy. Can I interview you for my newspaper today? Yes, of course. How do you feel about today's speech? I feel that Mr. President Taft will exceed all of my expectations and do an amazing job. Well, that is splendid. How do you feel about Theodore Roosevelt's constant attack against our president? Complete rubbish. Yes, yes, I understand. One more question. What is your input on his fights for women's rights? I feel ecstatic. This is a great thing to be happening in today's time. He is a great man. Well, that's just wonderful. Thank you for taking your time to in for me to interview you. It was my pleasure. Young lady, young lady, do you mind if I ask you some questions about today's speech for my newspaper, The Daily Times? No, not at all. I'd love to answer some questions. Great. So all day I've been touching upon women's rights with other ladies, and now it is your turn. Do you think what Taft is doing is enough for women, or do you think that he should be doing more? I believe that Taft is doing a great job working on women's rights and all of the things that have to do with women's rights. After all, he is trying to get the wages for us raised and get us the equal amount that men get. So I do believe that he is doing a great job, but there is always work that can still still be done. I agree. And how do you feel about all the other problems he is trying to solve? Do you think he is getting his point across and doing well with his motives? And do you think all he is trying to do is relevant or is it too much? With all that is on Taft's plate, I feel Taft is doing an amazing job. I think that he is getting just the right amount of work done that he needs to get done. And he's getting all the problems solved. But he's not overwhelming anyone with all the problems that there are. He is doing it at his own pace, which is great for everyone because he's not, once again, overwhelming anyone. He is laid back and us people like that about him. He doesn't pressure us. Yeah, I believe that he is doing a great job and it's everything done that he needs to do. And no, I don't believe that he does stuff that's irrelevant because if he wouldn't do it if he didn't want to, he wouldn't waste his time on it. After all, he is a laid back person. What a great observation. Well, it seems that is all we have time for. We do not have any time for another question as the speech is about to start. Thank you for sharing your opinion and enjoy the speech. You're very welcome. I hope you enjoy the speech as well. Now, will you please rise for the coming of your president, William Howard Taft. Woo! Is William Howard Taft. We live in a stage of politics where legislatures seem to regard the passage of laws as much more important than the results of their enforcement. <coughs> God bless you. I have decided to run for re-election and be your president yet again. <laughs> Being your Republican candidate, I promise to continue to break trust and fight against those titans. Together, we can be strong and tear down those monopolies. I believe we can continue to raise women's wages and give them what they deserve. Are you going to be manipulated by unfair laws? No! no! Then join me. I, not only will I make it fair for you, I will make the country as a whole and those who where the immigrants originate from. For my domestic policies, I will continue to break trusts and continue to pass laws. And I promise to provide a better civil and postal service. As for my foreign policies, I will distribute a dollar diplomacy and send troops to safeguard U.S. citizens when revolutions break out like they did in Honduras and Nicaragua. Woo! Yeah! Woo! I promise that in this presidency, I will post another amendment that will allow Congress to levy an income tax without apportioning it among the states or basing it on the United States Census. Woo! Woo! I will sign a bill to protect high tariffs. I will take part in an affair to restore the Alaskan land to a federal reserve. I will also urge Congress to pass an act to extend the powers of the ICC to handle the telephone and telegraph. Woo! Together, we can prove that man who I used to call my friend, Theodore Roosevelt, wrong. We can continue to do what he couldn't. I will break two times as many trusts as he did. That's all I have for today. Come see me on my next court stop. Thank you. Somebody help me get down. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, Mr. President, can you talk to me for my newspaper really quick? Yes, of course. So, Mr. Taft, how do you feel your speech went? I think it went great. I really hope people pick the right choice of a Republican president. Thank you for your time. It was a pleasure talking to you. Of course.
Can't reach my feet, no need for a belt. Please watch your step, cause I'm feeding myself. Throw some food in the air, watch it fall in my mouth. Like, flap, 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 flap. Vote for tapped. Vote for tapped. Vote for tapped. Vote for tapped.